Right then, where's he go?
With the permission of our most venerable Mahasangha, I would like to welcome most venerable Mahasangha who very kindly came to make this uh, special meritorious activity a powerful and graceful occasion. Uh, especially most venerable Devyavala Vimala Nayaka Thera, the head monk of lecture at Buddhist Vihara, also uh, most venerable uh, Surya Vava Kusala Pandita Hamaguru, deputy head monk of lecture at uh, Buddhist Vihara, and also uh, most venerable Dhammala Piananda Pandita Hamaguru, uh, who is from Gala Baddegama, principal of uh, Ratanasara Vidyayatane, and also a resident monk of our Buddhist uh, center. Uh, and also, most venerable Maharasana Saddhananda Pandita Hamguru, representing the Leicester Buddhist uh, Vihara. We very respectfully welcome all our venerable monks to this uh, special occasion. As a form of uh, formal welcome, please say Sadhu, 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 Sadhu. sadhu. Today, <coughs> especially Avayasa Nona, open up their doors for the blessings. There are three gems we call blessings, Buddha, Dhamma, and the Sangha. Buddha is the spiritual teacher who gave up all these uh, burdens, difficulties, in search of the truth in life. Uh, we have uh, certain occasions in life, we pause and try to think a bit deeper. So Buddha, in his uh, circumstances, uh, made the special reflections and he wanted to find out how one can free from suffering, which is how one can find the happiness in this very life. That is what we call the Buddha. <coughs> what he found as a way of free from suffering, as a way of gaining the happiness in life, <coughs> is what we call the Dhamma. Buddha has nine qualities, Dhamma has six qualities. The other third gem is the Sangha. Sangha means four group of communities. Bhikkhu, monks, Bhikkhuni, nuns, Upasaka, lay uh, disciples, male, Pasika, female lay disciples. So those four group of people we call Sangha. Uh, for higher understanding, Bhikkhu Bhikkhuni is the most uh, noble uh, Sangha, Arya Sangha. So today <coughs> we all have come together to share the noble blessings of the Buddha, Dhamma, Sangha. The environment today here is like a temple. Uh, the special altar being made with the Buddha statues and uh, lots of light being offered together with medicines and the flowers, special incense, even flags and, and light and so many other things being offered. A uh, special Bodhi tree is uh, set in there and uh, a special puja we are going to host of eggs and uh, our devotion, our heart, uh, our faith. Especially to the sacred objects of veneration, uh, the Buddha statue, the Bodhi tree and relics of the Buddha. So those three special objects are here. Uh, for us to make that special offering and puja. 
today the aspiration uh, for hosting this uh, in the household of uh, Yasa Nona, Mrs. Yasa Mara Singh, uh, to mark a very important day comes on the 1st of August to mark the 50th birthday of uh, Mr. Lalin Amara Singh. Together, um, they are thinking in their mind a few other birthdays. Uh, Mano, Mano Petal, uh, turning into 50 on 16th of August. They don't look like so. <laughs> <laughs> so they don't uh, look like so, but because I think they live happily. Those who are living happily don't look that old, so they enjoy. Once uh, a divine being came to the Buddha and asked uh, how this community of monks and nuns uh, looks young, looks uh, peaceful, looks happy. And the Buddha said that they don't live in the past. They don't regret what happened in the past. They are not worried about the future. As they are living in the present, present is the highest medicine. Most of us believe what is in the bottle are medicine. Tablets, capsules, those things in the bottle is a medicine. But sunshine is a medicine. Good friend is a medicine. Good fruit is a medicine. Good speech is a medicine. Meditation is a medicine. Chanting is a medicine. Offering charity, giving something is a medicine. And above all, being in the present moment is the highest medicine according to the modern science today. So therefore, um, it is a practical thing that Buddha explained to the divine being, the spiritual community is like that because of they are mindful way of living, being in the present moment. So maybe even though Laling holds a very responsible job, a very busy person, try to take things easy and maintain a simple life, uh, therefore he still looks very young, uh, even though he turns into 50. Um, Manu is taking a little pride by saying that uh, Lalin is senior than him. <laughs> uh, so therefore, it is a great, I think uh, Yasan Ona has organized this particularly for thinking of both of you to do the best of blessings. Uh, I can't think of more and it has been a great powerful occasion and I think uh, someone like Yasanona has done more than the beyond what she can do if you think of the environment the preparations things that brought into blessing turn into blessing I think she has done more than what she can that is why we always call she is an iron lady <laughs> A lady that can make anything a mission. So therefore, uh, it's a great gift that she can give as a motherly love to a son and friend. So therefore, I think, um, first of all, we need to take our hearts and minds together. And uh, so like Yasanona has worked very hard to make this uh, incomparable ceremony, uh, make that sound, echo that blessing by saying three times Sadhu, Sadhu, Sadhu in greeting to Lalin and Mano a very happy birthday I would like to hear that Sadhu again so in addition to that <laughs> 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 in 
addition to that, uh, Diana Rupa Singh, who celebrated her first birthday <laughs> on the 22nd of July, and Ravi Rupa Singh, who celebrates his birthday, 46th birthday today. And uh, we wish all of them health and peace and happiness <coughs> for many more years to come. <coughs> From Yasa Amara Singh and family, together all friends present here today. Also, Yasan on a life to transfer the merits to Major Obinamuni Nyana Siri Amarasingha, Mrs. Alice De Silva, Mr. Hema Siri De Silva, Mrs. Rupa De Silva, Mrs. Milred, Milred De Silva Ruhunu Siri, Mr. Manorani De Silva Tenabadu. Mr. Rohit Vikram Sekar, Mr. Latmal Mutukumaran, Dr. Indran Rasalingam, Mr. Senati Raja, Turei Ratnam, and also all those who have sacrificed their lives under the tragic circumstances due to political unrest in our motherland, Sri Lanka, during the 74th years since the country gained independence. May these individuals also receive these blessings we send from this home today in whichever realm they are. May they find peace, happiness, progress in the samsari journey and ultimately attain the blissful state of Nibbana. So in addition to all the family members that Yasanona has lined up, outlined here, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 10 family members, very dear and near uh, family members. And it was a very big family in uh, Unawatuna and lived in uh, uh, Walau, uh, a special house. And, uh, went uh, sent into a very good Buddhist school and even uh, learned Pali at the very young age. Yasanona has brought up in that culture with the blessings of the parents and brought up with uh, wonderful sisters and brothers and most of them are no longer here but Yasanona keep them all in her heart at this occasion. I think in addition to the birthday which made you the occasion to have these special blessings and you have taken a very grateful thoughtfulness into this to remember all your beloved parents and the family to transfer the merits. That itself is a very strong quality, strong blessing, strong merits. Even Buddha himself, once he achieved the fully enlightenment, the first uh, meritorious activity he did is to share the gratitude. There are indeed uh, rare those who are grateful. So therefore, Yasanona uh, bears wholeheartedly that gratefulness and ever always transfer the merits to those named the beloved parents and beloved husband and all those who were supportive throughout her life. And I, uh, with all our Venerable Monks, make a special blessings. May all her heart blessings be with all the parents and family. And uh, some of them couldn't beaten up certain tragic illnesses and uh, circumstances of the certain situations. But due to Yasa Nona's uh, perseverance, hard work, wisdom, understanding and, and engaging in the blessings. Sometimes wake up 4 o'clock and do the chanting. Uh, so because of that she was able to overcome a lot, uh, lot of challenges health wise. And uh, she, uh, she is still beaten by a lot of uh, difficulties, particularly like cancer type of illnesses. Whereas some others were not being able to do so. So Yasanona has been a practical example of how the blessing works. So therefore she is very grateful to the blessings 
She is very grateful to the family members, relatives, and when you think of them and transfer merits into their names, itself is a very grateful action. So let us take our hearts and minds together once again and establish those blessings by saying three times, Sadhu, Sadhu, Sadhu. May they certainly fulfill their aspirations and attain the bliss of Nibbana. And in addition, Nelsanona has been taken serious interest to do something for the motherland, Sri Lanka. And that is another important quality. Uh, so uh, one of the Sanskrit literature says that uh, your motherland is uh, superior, not even equal, superior to the heaven where you were born. Uh, janani, Janma Bhumischa. Janani means the mother. Janma Bhumischa means the uh, motherland. Swaradhiti Gariyasi means that it's superior, it's not even equal, it's superior to the heaven. So if you want to find a better heaven, that is your mother and also mother. So therefore, Yasanona has that special characteristics of thinking of the motherland, the Sri Lanka, going through a very difficult time today and uh, she keeps her prayers for all Sri Lankans um, and she has been helping for some of our charity work as well to send some necessities for the newborn pregnant women and the babies and uh, she has been supported by some of the friends here to make their collections and to support that charity work in addition in her thoughts in her mind and even in her social media she has done her bit for the country. So therefore, whatever the contributions are greatly appreciated uh, because you are not in debt to your country. Even though you live 5,000 miles away, you have done something for the country. And um, so finally, Yasa Amara Singh and family together with all friends gathered here today, offer these merits to them as well and wish them peace and happiness. Finally, I would not take much time. I would uh, very respectfully invite our Dediyavala Vimala Nayaka Hamudro to administer the five precepts. Our um, Saddhananda Pandita Hamudro will do the special puja offering medicine, offering light, offering all these things to the Bodhi tree and the relics of Buddha and the special puja will do by our Saddhananda Pandita Hamdru. Our Kusala Hamdru do a special admonition explaining the uh, Anisansa, the results, benefits of this uh, chanting and this type of merit. Myself and our Kinanda Hamdru will join the chanting as well. And uh, when you see a plate of food, you normally see it as, oh, this is not good for this, this is not good for that, you know. You are very keen in uh, selecting food. And sometimes, you know, uh, when a doctor see a plate of food, you they would see in the vitamins and other aspects. That means everything has a result. Everything, every action has a reaction. There is a discourse in the Samyukta Nikaya called Kin Dada Sutta, which explains what gives what. It says, Kin Dado Balado Hoti, what giver of what, is the giver of strength of Yasakona to bring you all together and do this special meritorious activity. Kin Dado Hoti Vannado, what giver of what, a giver of beauty. Kindado uh, Sukado Hoti, what giver of what? A giver of ease. Kindado Hoti Chakudo, what giver of what? A giver of vision. Yocha Sabba Dado Hoti, who is a giver of everything? Being asked, if you give something, 
it means like you have given everything. Buddha explain and reply to this divine being angel, Annado Balado Hoti, a giver of food, is a giver of strength. Those who offer the food is the uh, giver of strength. Vattado Hoti Vannado, if you offer clothes, a giver of beauty, you very much like offering the beauty. Yanado Sukado Hoti, if you are offering a vehicle or transport or some travel expenses, is a giver of ease, comfort. Deepado Hoti Chakudo, many of you enjoy lighting the candles. I hope you might have been reflecting the uh, meaning of that. A giver of lamp is a giver of vision. There are lots of benefits of offering lights. But particularly we need to be uh, more uh, practical and meaningful as well because ultimate meaning is wisdom. Yocha sabba dado hoti yo dadati upasayam. One who gives a resident, resident means offering a kuti, offering a temple, even supporting a mortgage. Even if you make a monthly subscription for the existence of a temple, is offering a residence to the monks. Is the one who is a giver of everything. If that person, it seems like giving everything if someone offers facilities for residence. But, but the Buddha says, offering the teachings is giving like a deathlessness. Amara, Amara Singha, isn't it? Amara means deathless. So therefore, eventually what we all need to gain this deathlessness, overcome the suffering and attain the supreme bliss of Nibbana. I think uh, that with that reflection of the Dhamma, let us make this uh, special ceremony a very, very powerful one. May all the aspirations of Yasanona and all of you who are coming here be fulfilled. May no harm, difficulties come to you. May no dangers come your way. May no illnesses afflict you. May no fears affect you. May you have all the good health, progress, happiness and fulfillment of all the aspirations in your lives. Bearing that, let us start our program. Please say out loud three times. And say three times the Namo Tassa to observe the five precepts. Namo Tassa Bhagavato Arahato Namo
පරිත්‍රාණය සාදු වුණා අන්න මෙතන තියෙන පරිත්‍ය කියන වචනේ විෂ්ණු දෙය ලෝකයේ පහළ වෙන්නේ පරිත්‍රාණය සාදු වුණා සාදු කියලා හොඳ මිනිසුන් ආරක්ෂා කරන්න විනාසයේ දුස්කුතා නරක මිනිසුන් අයින් කරන්න ධර්ම සංස්ථාපනාත්‍රය නරක මිනිසුන් අයින් කරනවා වගේම තමයි ධර්මය ලෝකයේ තුල යහපත කියන එක ලෝකයේ තුල පතුරු වන සම්භවාම යුගයේ යුග සම්භව කියලා කියන්නේ පහළ වෙනම යුගයෙන් යුගයට විෂ්ණු දෙය පහළ වෙනවා කියලා ඉතින් මේ වචනේම අපිට බුදුරජාණන් වහන්සේගේ දර්ශනය තුල සඳහන් වෙන්නේ පරිසමන්තතෝ තායති රක්තතීති පරිසන්තෝ අපි දන්නවා ලෝකයේ ආගම් අතර ගත්තාම පැරණිම ආගමක් තමයි හින්දු දර්ශනය ඊට පස්සේ තමයි බෞද්ධ දර්ශනය තියෙන කිත්තුකුර 6 වෙනි සිය වසේ බුදුහාමුදුරුවෝ පිරිත ගැන දේශනා කරන අවස්ථාවලදී සඳහන් කරනවා පරිසමන්තතෝ තායති රක්තතීති පරිසන්ත පිරිත කියලා කියන්නේ අපේ හාත්පස ආරක්ෂා වැති කරන හාත්පස කිව්වාම අත දිසාව උද සහ යත කියන දස දිසාවම අයි තියෙනවා මේ අපේ ශරීරයේ ශරීරයේ ඉඳලා ගත්තට පස්සේදී ප්‍රධාන දිසා අනු දිසා ඒ වගේ මුඩ යට වශයෙන් දස දිසාවම අයි තියෙනවා හාත්පස කිව්වාම හාත්පසින් මෙන්න ආව උවදුරුවලින් වලකින්නට තියෙන එක දෙයක් තමයි ආශිර්වාදය තමයි පරිත්ත පිරිත ආරක්ෂාව කියන අදහස තියෙන පිරිත කියලා බුදුහාමුදුරුවෝ දේශනා කරනවා එතකොට බුදුරජාණන් වහන්සේ ධර්මයේ දේශනා කරන බව මේවා පිරිත් මේක ධර්ම දේශනා කියලා වෙන වෙන දේශනා කරේ නැහැ නමුත් සංගායනාකාරක භික්ෂුන් වහන්සේලා පසු කාලීනව ආරක්ෂක සම්මත ධර්ම කොට්ටාස අරගෙන මේ පිරිවනා පොත් වහන්සේ සකස් කළා තියෙන තේරවාද බෞද්ධ රටවල් වල මුහුණයක් දකින්න ලැබෙන ප්‍රධාන සූත්‍ර දේශනා අපි අද දවසේදී මේ ඇත්තන්ට ආශිර්වාද පිළිස මේ අවස්ථාවේදී සජ්ජායනා කරනවා ඒ අතර තියෙන ප්‍රධානම සූත්‍රයක් තමයි අපි හැම සෙත් පිරිත් දේශනාවකදීම ඇතුළත් කරගන්නවා මහා මංගල සූත්‍ර දේශනාව මේ සූත්‍රය හරි වැදගත් ඒකට හේතුව තමයි දැන් ත්‍රිපිටක ධර්මයේ ත්‍රිපිටකයේ තුල තියෙනවා බුද්ධ භාෂිත ශ්‍රාවක භාෂිත දේව භාෂිත ඍෂි භාෂිත කියන දෙන විදිහ අපි හුඟාක් අය හිතන් ඉන්නවා ත්‍රිපිටකයේ තියෙන්නේ බුදුහාමුදුරුවෝ කීප දේවල් විතරයි කියලා බුදුහාමුදුරුවෝ දේශනා කරපු දේවල් විතරයි කියලා එහෙම නැහැ හුඟක් සූත්‍ර ගත්තාම අපිට වැටහෙනවා ශ්‍රාවකයෝ දේශනා කරපු සූත්‍ර දේශනා अत्रुदेवताजस्वनुदन खालु अयं भदंता फरेतवन खालु अयं भदंता फरेतवन खालु पन्नो भगवतो सावक संगो भगवतो 
special blessing ceremony that uh, Yasanona uh, organized to invoke the blessing to the loving son uh, to mark the special birthday, the 50th birthday, along with the uh, yes, adopted son, foster son, father saying adopted uh, Manu Patel. Uh, wishing him also a very bird, happy birthday. Um, of course, they have lost all their hairs to look after each other. <laughs> and uh, most of the young gentlemen who lost their hairs, they are very bright and very achieving people. And I heard that those who have lost their hairs, they are very successful young gentlemen. I am only half Nandati puttehi puttima. Lord Buddha said, some parents really happy to have children, but not all. Some. Uh, some parents suffer from their children, but to organize a mother to mark the 50th of the son is a historical. I did not have my mother to have my 50th. Many of you might not have, but Lalin Green Sola. And um, it is a great blessing and great uh, uh, occasion that Yasanona put a lot of energy forward. I think it is a very special program. So therefore, we take once again 
uh, all the heart energy blessings uh, to into a very special form of greeting to both of you because at this juncture of the age at the middle of your life 50th is actually the beginning of your <laughs> other side of the life so therefore you are just uh, starting the life so may all your good health protection prosperity progress and fulfillment of your life be successful <coughs> And uh, Pina means Hatha uh, Punyo Beatanandati. Those who do the merits rejoice in this life. I think Yasanona has done almost every list. She can tick almost all the list of the meritorious deeds in the Buddhist tradition. She reads about the scriptures and make a list of merits that a person need to be done. So she has done katina ceremony, she has done dana, she has even done her pansubula as well. I was in another ceremony, Yasanona was there, we were just talking about uh, contemplating of death. One of the lady was very upset about it, talking about the death. But Yasanona has uh, repeatedly recollected the nature of death. Those who repeatedly recollect, those who know that they are dying, they are the best people in the world. They don't humiliate others, they don't make problem for others, they do not let down others, they don't have jealous because they know the life is very short and they need to make the most of this very life. They don't make problems and pitfalls for others just to put themselves in the daylight. So therefore, Yasanona is being very much aware this life is very short and therefore we need to make the most. Because of that, Buddha said, they gain the longevity. Those who are afraid of death, they would not make a successful life. Those who understand the death, they would have a full life. So I think uh, she has gone through an experience quite few times. Therefore, she values every moment of her life and has been doing lots of, lots of meritorious activities. As a result, even if you look at the environment, it's very bright, it's very pleasant, it has some good vibes. And uh, so therefore she has been doing 24-7, lot of meritorious deed in this house, chanting, uh, helping each other, thinking of each other, just a very little gossip as well. <laughs> <laughs> to be overcome. <laughs> and, uh, but 99% uh, is good. So to have a mother like that running, you are very lucky. And we can't uh, really forget other two children, Vajira and uh, uh, Raj as well. So we think of them as well and wish them all the good health and success. And uh, so may all the living share these powerful meritorious activities and may they find the best of health, protection, progress in every form. May the devas, I think in this house she is uh, in communication with a lot of devas, you know, uh, <laughs> angels. Even neighbors sometimes come and ask for help for her. No? Uh, so therefore, may the devas rejoice in these meritorious activities. And she has a beautiful Bodhi tree in the house, beautiful temple in the house. The devas abide by all these objects of veneration, rejoice in these constant and repeated merits and return their blessings especially for Yasanona for the good health, protection and all the courage to continue the life as a perfection, Paramita, to attain the best of aspirations that she deserves in her life in every form. You know, so therefore, may these devas return their blessings to especially those who are celebrating the birthday, Lalin and also Manu and uh, Ravi and uh, Diana and uh, everyone. May they all rejoice uh, the blessings yeah. and return the merits to Devas. As a form of final transfer of merits to the Devas, please say out loud three times. Sadhu, Sadhu, Sadhu. Last not to the least.